Hey, this is the Swedish Guitar Nerd, and today I'm gonna take a look at a pedal. And today in particular it is the Harley Benton British Sound Pedal. Uh, something they categorize as an overdrive pedal. But I think it's actually trying to be some kind of an amp simulator kind of thing. If you look at the controls, it's very similar to a pedal from Tech 21 called uh, the British Character Pedal. And uh, hmm. <laughs> they must at least have got the ID from them, maybe even stolen uh, the components. Uh, who knows? On the top, you have three controls you have low, mid, high. Well, that's the EQ. So you have a three band EQ and I think it's active. It's really, yeah, it really makes a difference. It's not just tiny adjustments. It's really, yeah, it defines the sound really. And then you have the obvious level that's volume and drive that's overdrive distortion. And then we have the less obvious that's the voice uh, control. We'll see what that does. And I've added a uh, overdrive it's the alberta from t-rex well it's uh, your standard overdrive basically and i also added the zoom g1 on for uh, yeah simulating a, a guitar amp and adding some reverb so here's the clean sound without any of these two engaged So super clean, super, yeah, super clear. And then you want to Britishify it. Uh, who knows? Does it mean that it's uh, trying to be a Marshall or a Vox or I don't know, whatever <laughs> British amp you can think of? Well, let's see. Let's turn it on. And uh, at this setting, it's, yeah, it's kind of nice and quiet. Well, we'll see what happens when we turn everything up. So here it goes. Yeah, I'd say it's trying to be a marshal. It has that. That kind of character to me at least. Uh, yeah, let's see what all these knobs do. Well, these are obvious I would say, but let's hear how they affect the sound in this setting. So let's uh, turn up. That was full, then it's all off. Yeah, this is probably a frequency range that you want to take away, actually. Uh, well, if you're playing by yourself, you will probably think that, well, it sounds kind of good. But if you're playing with some kind of bass or some other instrument that's competing with you in the frequency range, then you should probably turn this down. Well, the guitar usually lives in this <laughs> frequency, so let's see what that does. full let's turn it down yeah that's nice isn't it so 
sounds like your guitar is on another planet all of a sudden. Name we have hi. Let's see. <laughs> okay, it's kind of harsh. <laughs> Fool. Well, well. So as you can hear, the effects are rather dramatic from the EQ controls. Uh, so yeah, that's good. It's a good op way to control your sound and actually tailor it specifically to what you actually like. Okay, well, let's try the magic button then, the voice, and see what that does. Let's turn it all the way down, see what we have. Yeah, it cleans up. I wonder what happens in the other direction. Yeah, it adds distortion, but it also adds high end and a bit of high mid range. Okay, let's see if I can try to create a sound that I will actually use. So, let's see. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that I'm playing the Court G260, my beloved favorite guitar of all time. It's back in my hands. So that's the bridge humbug. Let's see what the neck single coil sounds like. It's rather dynamic, it responds to yeah, how you play. If you play hard, it distorts more, and if you don't... Well, here you can hear, you can hear this, a bit of bass. Well, let's see, I'm gonna just turn it up. Now I'm back on the bridge humbucker again. <laughs> Okay, sounds kind of nice. Let's add some overdrive. Yeah, it takes pedals well. 
who would know? And yeah, it sounds kind of good. I kind of like it. I was actually supposed to buy this pedal a few years ago and uh, they were out of stock, but well, I got a nice wife, she, so she got me one for Christmas this year. Okay, let's try some extreme settings just for fun. Uh, I'm gonna turn uh, the voice and the vibe. Ooh, that's a nice sound, isn't it? And maybe, let's see. If we can... too much or everything seems to like to be well uh, in my opinion uh, not uh, everything on top uh, and that's good I, I think it's good to have controls that actually go too far so you can actually d adjust them sometimes you have controls on pedals that do too little and you can even not really use them but these are actually making a difference Sometimes even too much. Yeah. Yeah, there's a bit of noise, but not too much. And if you forgot what my guitar sounded out without the pedal, here's the clean sound. So why not uh, a means to get a martial sound out of anything? Because I suppose if you use this in front of something that's not a martial, it will actually make that guitar amp sound very martially. At least that's what it did in my rig. And it takes pedals well, so well, it's basically, uh, yeah, why not? Why not call it an amp modeler? Because I think that's actually what it is. I'm going to try one last thing and that's to see how it cleans up when you turn down the volume on the guitar. Let's see. <laughs> That's a fool. Let's turn it down. did okay um, well probably as good as uh, an amp would do if you have this this much distortion as I have <laughs> Yeah, this has been the Swedish guitar now, looking at the British sound pedal from Harley Benton. These come uh, from other companies as well. These are made in China, so you can see other brands stamped on the exact same pedal. For instance, Jojo makes uh, exactly the same pedal. Well, if you found this useful and interesting, well, 
That's great. If you have further questions, if you want me to do something else with this pedal, or if you have any questions about what I think about it, well, leave a comment, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.